This video is designed for participants to gain an understanding of how to provide feedback to students receiving Tier 2 interventions, how students are selected for Tier 2 interventions, how the intervention is progress monitored, and the role of the classroom teacher in the intervention. PBIS is the behavior half of the RTI triangle. And as such, just like with academics, 10 to 15% of your students will be targeted for Tier 2 interventions throughout the year. All students will be universally screened monthly by your PBIS team. Check-in, check-out is the universal recommendation for the first level of Tier 2. Students will have a daily progress report or DPR to be completed by their teachers. This provides for the scheduled positive interactions between the teacher and the student. Students will also check in and out with a greeter daily to ensure their success and to monitor the student's progress. All schools will universally screen their students on a monthly basis using the following MPS cut scores. All students with two referrals in a month for K-4 through grade 5. All students with three referrals in a month for grade 6 through grade 12 and all students with two suspensions in a semester will be referred for Tier 2 interventions. Schools can lower these decision rules if they would like, but they may not raise them. All schools also accept any teacher, parent, and student referrals for Tier 2 interventions, and all students will be screened to determine if the intervention will work, and if not, another intervention must be used. Check and check out works in the following way. The students meet with a greeter in the morning for about one minute. They go over the goals for the day and ensure the student is prepared for a successful day. The students then carry their DPR card with them all day. The classroom teacher positively checks in with the student throughout the day for less than a minute. The student then checks out with the greeter at the end of the day to go over the points they've earned and discuss the day. The student then takes a copy of the DPR home for their family to see. The students can remain on check and check out, be transitioned off, or move to a more intense intervention if needed. There are some elements of check and check out that will occur behind the scenes. The greeter checks in and out with the students daily, has conversations, and collects the DPR at the end of the day. Your PBIS team reviews data monthly. They look at students who meet the universal screener. They, these students are then entered into check and check out or another intervention. The team goes through any parent, teacher, or student referrals for a Tier 2 intervention. The team enters progress monitoring data into Exceed. And teams review data of Tier 2 students to see which students should stay on or advance to higher tiers of intervention. Okay, so today is Thursday, and you do have a special day. So you have 56 total points that you can get today. Okay. How many points do you think would be reasonable to earn? 42. 42? We can go for 42. I think we had 38 yesterday, so that's pretty close. Okay, what class do you think you need to focus on the most today? Social studies. Social studies. Okay, I'm just going to put it on the Do you have any questions? The classroom teacher plays a very important role in check-in and check-outs. The teacher will check in with the student throughout the day during the times marked on their DPR. This will be done when not interrupting instruction so you can find a time when other students are engaged in activity, taking a quiz, or etc. The teacher's job is also to remind the students to check in with them. The most important part of check in check out is to have a positive interaction and conversation with the students. You should talk about what they are doing well with their behavior, what areas of their behavior they can improve, and provide corrective feedback and suggestions on how the student can improve their behaviors. The classroom teachers are the ones administering the intervention through their regularly scheduled positive interaction with the student, and it is crucial to have these on a daily basis. All students receiving a Tier 2 intervention will carry a DPR, or Daily Progress Report. 
The DPR has the school-wide expectations on it broken up about chunks of time. In middle school and high school is divided by class periods, and elementary school is divided by blocks of time throughout the day. The DPR allows for the student's behavior to be monitored over time. The DPR is just to monitor the intervention, it is not the intervention. The positive interaction between the student and the teacher is the intervention. Here is an example high school DPR card. As you can see, it has the expectations across the top, and then going down it has each of the class periods for the day. The teacher fills this out, giving the student a 1, 2, or 3 for each of the areas, sig uh, signing their signature, and at the end of the day, the student will receive a total score. The most important aspect of check in, check out is the interaction and feedback between the teacher and the student. Teachers need to give the student specific feedback on the positive behaviors that the student has exhibited in class. If the student failed with some of the expectations in class, the teacher needs to give a corrective feedback for any of these negative behaviors the student exhibited. One can suggest ways the student can improve their behavior, not just mention the negative behaviors that they saw. While discussing these with the student, you can complete the DPR with the student, scoring them on each of their expectations. Good. Good. What were two things you did very good today? Um, stayed on task and did my work. Excellent. I think you did a very good job. You led some groups in there. You, you know, were really academic. You were really le being a leader. Total of being respectful. Following appropriate language, listening. Which was up to three in that. Excellent. But being responsible. Arriving in time. Following the rules. Being prepared. Up three. Good for that. What about being safe? Following all school rules. Excellent. Okay. Perfect day today. Excellent to meet you. Have another great day tomorrow. Thank you. It is important to give positive corrective feedback to the student and not just point out areas their behavior struggled. So for example, instead of just saying you are not prepared for school again today, say something, you did not have your book today, please remember to bring it tomorrow. Instead of saying, you were late today just like yesterday, say something like, you were late for class today. Please be in your seat before the bell rings. Instead of saying, why do you always have to shout out during class? Say something like, you shouted out while I was showing the problem on the board. Please raise your hand and I will call on you next time. What's something you can do tomorrow to make sure you're on time? Get up early. Get up early? Okay, that's excellent. So, tomorrow let's work on getting up a little bit early so you're on time. What about the talk in the class? Mm -hmm. something you can do? Don't talk until after class. Don't talk until after class. So maybe you can get a little piece of scrap paper and write down the things you want to say to your friends during class and just hold on to it. Then after class you can kind of remember what you want to talk to them about. One thing I thought you did very well today is you were leading your group. Like we really had a lot to say about what we were talking about. And let's keep that up, keep it academic when we're talking and all that. So for being respectful, I think you're respectful for your peers today? Yes. Yeah. I think that you're very good. We'll give you three. Being responsible, arriving on time, for so a one, so you can try again tomorrow. And then following the rules, you can apply in class. No. So we'll give you one for that as well. So, you know what we can improve upon tomorrow and have a great day tomorrow. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Please take a moment and pause this video and discuss as a group how would you give corrective feedback to the students in each of these situations. Teachers have a very important role in the Tier 2 interventions of their students. Their first role is to remind students to check in with them during class. This occurs at the predetermined time on their DPR and should occur when other students are engaged in learning. The teacher should also discuss with the student any positive things about their behavior 
while providing corrective feedback to those areas that the student needs to improve on about their behavior. Then you can complete the DPR with the student and encourage the student to have a positive behavior throughout the day and tomorrow.